Hi everyone, before we start, I've seen about 75 movies this year, but I haven't seen everything. So on the screen, you're gonna see a list of movies that I missed or haven't gone into wide release yet, so I haven't been able to see. So if these movies you think might stand out in some of these categories, make sure you let me know in the comments. Welcome to IAYTD. In this video, we are covering the supporting actors and supporting actresses of the year. Um, I bunched these together just to save some time, so we're going to cover both actor and actress. Let's dive into supporting actor. My first honorable mention is Woody Harrelson from The Edge of Seventeen. This was a super underrated movie. Not a lot of people saw it, but it is funny and also touching. And Woody Harrelson's performance is very complicated because he's an adult watching this uh, scenario play out in the life of a dramatic high schooler. And so his viewpoint actually gives a lot of context to the movie. Um, and I was able to relate to him now as an adult, but also to the experiences that she was going through. And it's very complicated and he did a great performance. The other honorable mention goes to Fences. Now Fences for supporting actor, I think Jovan Adepo. And I hope that's how you say the name, Jovan Adepo. Um, he plays the youngest son of Denzel Washington, and they clash. And, you know, Denzel used to be a baseball star, or he, was, he had the potential to be a star. But now his son wants to play football, but it didn't work out for Denzel, so Denzel is trying to kind of turn his son into the right direction, but it's not always done in a tactful way, and so there's a lot of conflict, a lot of emotion. And this young kid that I've never seen in anything else pulled out a performance that is breathtaking and in the final act of the movie he really shows his chops here so i think this is the starting point for a tremendous career for jovan adepo but i think who's going to take it and who might actually win some oscars for this is michael shannon from nocturnal animals michael shannon plays a police officer that is kind of um, apathetic about a lot of things but this case gets his interest i'm not gonna tell you what the case is about but he cares a lot about it and he really doesn't have a lot to lose. And so he kind of uh, has a lot of this, this passion and this um, eagerness to solve and get justice for this case. And just great performance by Michael Shannon in Nocturnal Animals. So, so my supporting actor of the year goes to him. For supporting actors, I only have one honorable mention. That's Michelle Williams in Manchester by the Sea. Uh, Michelle Williams is only in a couple of scenes, but she is vastly important to what's happening. So when she shows up, it is just a powerful performance, punch you in the gut kind of feeling. So incredible performance by Michelle Williams. But the, the only other performance that gave me chills more so was Naomi Harris in Moonlight. Now Naomi Harris plays the mother of our main character. And we kind of see three time periods throughout the movie. And Naomi Harris is very complicated. She's a mother that loves her son, obviously, but there's some other factors at play here that influence how our main character, Chiron, grows up. Naomi Harris, I've seen her in other things like in Collateral Beauty this year, and she was great and pleasant and charming. In Moonlight, she is not that at all. She is the antagonist of our, our hero. And so her performance there was great. So I think she's hopefully in the running for some, some Oscar nominations, hopefully for supporting actress. So Naomi Harris for Moonlight. So who else stood out to you? We're not talking the lead actor, actress. Who else did a great job but didn't need the spotlight? You know, who were those supporting actors and actresses that really pulled out the stops? So let me know in the comments and stay tuned for more Best of 2016 videos.